the regulator has a view, <laughs> NPC has a view, we have a view, the government has a view, competition commission I'm sure someday will. Um, I've only asked two questions till now, mm -hmm. not got an answer. Mm -hmm. One is, tell me what you expect me to do to reduce my market share. There's 115 other TPAPs. Mm -hmm. Somebody else has to outspend, outwork, out hustle, and pick up their market share. That, that burden can't fall on me. Second, I think we are all celebrating UPI success. But if there are another 600 million people left, are you telling me that as market leader, you want me to start telling them, don't use my app because it's the most popular. Please go to the next person. That burden can't fall on me anyway. This is what Samir Nigam, founder and chief executive of PhonePay had to say when asked about how the Walmart-owned fintech would deal with the proposed market share cap for UPI players if and when it becomes a regulation. He was responding, to a question about the matter during a fireside chat at the Business Standard BFSI Insight Summit in Mumbai on October 30th. NPCI has extended the deadline for UPI players to adhere to a market cap of 30% by two years to December 31st, 2024. First introduced in November 2020, the guidelines require UPI third-party apps to adhere to a cap on transaction volumes. NPCI operates the UPI Digital Pipeline. PhonePay share in the number of UPI transactions rose to 47.2% in June 2023, from 45.8% a year ago, according to NPCI data. And the digital wallet accounted for 49.8% of transaction in terms of value against 48.8% a year ago. According to Worldline's India Digital Payments Report in June 2023, PhonePay, Google Pay and Paytm accounted for 95.7% of all customer-initiated transactions in terms of volume, compared to 94.6% a year before. In terms of transaction value, they accounted for 93.7% in June 2023, compared to 93.4% in June 2022. One of the reasons for this dominance is that banks which didn't see any money to be made on UPI transactions, left the space alone for third-party apps to flourish. Explaining that NPCI wanted the market to have more participation, Nigam pointed out at the BFSI summit that the likes of Tata New, Zomato and Flipkart had also become third-party application providers. According to Nigam, as long as there was no barrier to entry, there couldn't be a demonstration of abuse of dominant share. When asked what would happen if the regulators asked the company to split into two in the future to reduce its market share, Nigam's response indicated that he did not want to focus on hypotheses. The PhonePay CEO said that he didn't have to worry about the matter and could only focus on governance and meaningful growth. So what's NPCI's rationale for a market cap on UPI players? See, typically the regulators are looking at uh, any operational risk or a systemic risk that is posed by you know, these players, you know, they have become systemically important in certain ways because the number of transactions are fairly large right now. So that 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 is the rationale from a regulator perspective. But is a market cap the best way to achieve this goal? And should such a measure even be enforced? This market is growing uh, at a very rapid uh, pace. The digital transactions are increasing. There are many, many more areas uh, many more use cases to be covered with digital payments and multiple fintech players like us are also working on several of those right so uh, I, we believe that uh, you know the cap uh, is not the best way uh, the market will find its own equilibrium about time because there are several more use cases to be covered many many players are working on it right and over time this uh, thing will settle down. Uh, so cap uh, may or may not be the best way to deal with it. The alternatives are much more innovation in the areas to cover. There are the rural areas to be covered, the rural use cases to be covered. There are several more, right? So these are things that we work on, uh, others work on. Uh, so that, that we believe is the way to go. And even if such a cap is enforced, what would be the right time to do so? I think there is a market share discussion to be had once you've actually penetrated deep enough. Mm -hmm. 
when the MDR in a particular mo uh, industry is zero, when there is no natural business model, mm -hmm. you will see a contraction of investment by stakeholders. So while there are 150 people, guess who's not advertising for the last two or three IPLs? We are not because of cap, but nobody else is. Why? You'll invest in a sector if you can make money. Okay. And that burden again is not on me. I didn't make MDR zero. So you can't say there's no money and then tell the people who are still investing in laying the railroad, don't invest. I'm taking a 10-year view. Either others take a 10-year view or you make it attractive in the short run. It appears that at least the industry is not in favour of a market cap. However, it remains to be seen if the regulators will agree that their concerns about systemic risk can be addressed without such a measure. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Nation's trusted bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.